Hey, this is Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, and today we're going to talk about a newly released feature inside of SmartSuite, which gives us the ability to be able to copy and paste data from Airtable into SmartSuite. Now, we know this has kind of been a transitionary time for a lot of folks who have been using Airtable as Airtable looks to transition more into the enterprise space. If you're interested in looking at other solutions, I encourage you to sign up for a free 14-day trial of SmartSuite using our affiliate link in the description below. So to start us off, I have an app set up for my tasks inside of a solution, and I'm in SmartSuite. I have all of the columns that I need, and I have some data that already exists, but of course you wouldn't have to have any data that exists already. I also have my table that sits inside of a base inside of Airtable, and this is also my tasks table, and I'm looking to get that data over across into SmartSuite. So in order to do this, we can go ahead and click and select, and I'm using Command-C on a Mac, or you could use Control-C on a PC, and we'll copy that. And the important part to know is that these fields all match the same titles, and they're in the same order, and this is really important, and I'll show why in a moment. But if you look, we have title, assigned to, priority status, due date, and project. And we have the same exact column titles inside of SmartSuite. Now, I will say that each system has kind of its own default nomenclature. So one says assignee or assign to. It's important to make sure that those are aligned before you paste that data. Let's go ahead and paste that data in. So we're going to click here. And it's important that we don't actually click inside of the cell. If we click inside of the cell and we try to paste it, it's just going to paste a bunch of text there. That's not what we want, so I'll delete that out. And I just wanna click so that we get right where it highlights the cell but doesn't actually enter into the cell. And then I'm going to go ahead and press Command V or Control V depending on your operating system. And we do want to expand the view, so we'll press Continue. And notice that that has now pasted in our data, but oh no, we actually mixed up our assigned to and our priority. The columns are titled the same, but they're just slightly out of order. So you can see how, how subtle of a change that is. Even having one column out of order is going to mess up that data. Thankfully, our other data came through. Well, that's no problem. We're just going to go ahead and use our bulk actions feature to delete those records. And let's give this a try again, and we will shift our assigned to in front of our priority. And we'll go ahead and do the same exact step that we did previously. And now when we paste those records, you can see that it does in fact pull that data in, but there's still one more issue. And what is that? Well, it didn't paste a value for status. So if there's a particular value that's off, it especially happens in the case of a single select or multi-select, where in this case we had complete, which matches our statuses that we have of complete. Now inside a smart suite, our value is backlog as opposed to to do. So that's why it's important to make sure that the values are actually matching up. And you could do that either by changing the values inside of Airtable, or you could have it match by changing the values inside of SmartSuite. You can, of course, make those manual updates if you need to, or you could go back and fix the data before you actually pull it in to import it. Now, one more thing I'll point out here is that it really is cool how it matches everything. It's not just treating it as text. So if you think about a spreadsheet, and you're copying data between two spreadsheets, it's pretty easy because it's just text. But it's really neat how we can go off of just the name, Dan Lehman, who's a user here, and because it matches the name of the user Dan Lehman here, then it actually relates it to that assigned to record, pulls in the avatar. And then same thing as well with linked to other records. In this case, we've got projects, and we have a separate app here for projects. And one thing I will say is that if you want that data to paste in and have links out to other objects, it's important that you first put the linked to record in there. So I already created one for internal project, which gives us the ability then to have this automatically link to an internal project and we're able to see the records reference from the other side in the tasks. If we did not have that internal project already created, it would be blank and wouldn't actually link to the record and we would have to manually do that. So it's, it turns into really an order of operations things. If I have a bunch of interlinked tables and apps, 
I need to be able to start with the one that doesn't link to other things, input that data. And of course, I can copy and paste that and then kind of work my way through. So sometimes it takes a little bit to think through how you want to do that. Now, one thing I will say is that this works, especially when you have a small amount of data and it's easy to be able to move that across and align the fields as you need to. But if you have a really complex project, it might be something that you want to use a third-party tool like Make or Zapier, at least use the CSV import functionality. If that's something that you need help with, come reach out to us over at our website at automationhelpers.com. We'd love to help organizations like you get set up with SmartSuite. If you have any other questions, let us know in the comments below.